Greetings. My name is William Clark, and I'm a minister at Edmonton Baptist Church. With these videos, we aim to answer some very important questions concerning life, death, meaning, God, and a lot more. Today's question is very straightforward. Is there a God? This question may be the most important question one can ask oneself. The answer has profound implications on how one lives their life. If there's not a God, then there's no supernatural. There are no angels, no demons, no spirits. It would be a world where the only thing that exists is what we can see, touch, measure, etc. If there's nothing after we die, what meaning can we give to this life? Does it make any difference whether we existed or not? Even if we did have an impact, what value does that impact have given the fact that we will all eventually die? Ultimately, it makes no difference. However, if there is a God, then that implies that there's a spiritual aspect to our world, a supernatural one. Then how do we relate with God? Do we seek this God's approval or not? Does this God even care? How should I live my life in relation to God? Many more questions like this come by answering the first question we began with. Is there a God? Again, one of the most important questions any human can ask themselves. There are many logical arguments that point towards the existence of God. Please. Feel free to do your own research. I will mention one that is quite well known and very old. It is an argument that came through ancient Christian philosophers and further developed by Muslim scholars. In medieval Spain, the Jews who lived alongside Muslims also studied the arguments, and there it finally went back to Christians in the West and was championed by Saint Bonaventura. This argument has done the rounds all throughout the Abrahamic faith. It is truly a Christian, Jewish, Muslim argument. Briefly, the argument goes like this. Premise 1. Whatever begins to exist has a cause. Premise 2. The universe began to exist. Conclusion. The universe has a cause. The first premise is similar to the thinking of something cannot come from nothing. To remind ourselves, the first premise was whatever begins to exist has a cause. So, something cannot come from nothing. The prime mover, the first cause as some have put it, something must have started everything. Because, again, out of nothing, nothing comes. So there has to be the first cause that caused everything. The second premise requires further unpacking, which is the universe began to exist. Some have said that the universe has always existed, but that would go against premise two. So it requires a lot of unpacking, which we do not have time for here. But it will be suffice to say that there are good scientific reasons to believe the universe began to exist. Now, if both premises are true, again, whatever begins to exist has a cause, and the universe began to exist, it logically follows, then, that the universe had a cause. Now, you might be thinking, oh, it may be the Big Bang, but this cause has to be immaterial. It has to be timeless and spaceless. It has to be outside of time and outside of space. Why? Well, because the beginning of the universe was also the beginning of time and space. Now, what kind of cause is outside of time and outside of space? God is the one who fits all those criteria. He is timeless, he is spaceless, and he's immaterial. 
Therefore, God exists. Now, there are further arguments for God's existence, which we may look at at another time. This was just a, a brief one that we mentioned here. And then also, there's nothing here that says it's the Christian God or the Hindu God, right? All it says is that there is a God. But before I go, I do want to stress one final thing. God promises that if you honestly seek him with your heart and your soul, you will find him. That is a promise to every single person. So if you truly want to know whether God exists, seek him out. And he promises that he will make himself known to you. Thank you for joining us. And if anything that was said has prompted you to want to explore a bit more, please reach out and talk to us. Everything will be in the description. May God bless you.